guys, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I wanted to show you my entire Peperomia collection. Peperomias are probably my favorite types of plants because they are such fast growers and in addition to that there are so many varieties of peperomias and so in this video i wanted to go over the few that i have they're getting a little bit out of control because i've recently just started propagating just the petioles of this plant i'll link a video here if you missed that video and um yeah i just wanted to show you how far they've come since i first bought these peperomias so before we get started if you're new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by please don't forget to subscribe if you're obsessed with house plants then i think you're gonna really enjoy my content okay so let's move on let's start with my parallel peperomia that you see here in the little screen is what i originally bought it in it was in a four inch pot and now it's just kind of exploded to all these little um <laughs> different plants you can see the mama one in the very back um, it's huge. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, um, these pepper, all peperomias are really fast growers. And in fact, they continue to grow even in the winter time. So a lot of people have left comments stating that they continue to fertilize their plants even in the winter. I choose not to only because I do use the stinky fish emulsion for fertilizer. And so I reserve that for the summertime when I can keep the windows open all day because Mr. Batana Babies hates that smell. Keep in mind though, that if you are repotting some of your plants and using new soil there's already slow release fertilizer in that new soil that you're using and so it's not necessary to um, also use any additional supplemental fertilizer uh, on top of that and so i haven't actually fertilized any of my plants this year i probably should especially my older plants that i haven't repotted for a while but um for these plants that i've potted within the net or the last six months or so then i will uh, not be fertilizing. So what I'm trying to show you here is the difference in size in the vine. Um, the initial growth, so I potted, I, um, what is that called? I propagated these in two different ways. One from the petiole, which I already mentioned, I'll link, I already linked the video. Um, and then I also cut the stems and I found that um, propagating just from the petiole, uh, those plants once potted into soil, tended to sprout much more fat, like it grew a lot faster than ones that I developed just from, uh, developed roots off of just the vine. So maybe I'll dedicate an entire video um, just for that. Excuse the airplane noise. There's, there's so much activity going on outside right now. <laughs> But anywho, moving on to my next type of peperomia, which is a variegated obtusifolia. So again, in the little screen is what it looked like when I first bought it. It was in a four inch pot. And now I have quite a few four inch pots. And this is actually one of the plants that I waited the longest to try to propagate because um, I love this plant so much. I love all variegated patterns of different types of plants. And so I was really hesitant to cut it because I'd never cut a peperomia before or a peperomia obtusifolia before and so i was just for whatever reason like super scared but the minute i did it this is so such a fast growing and easily propagated plant i guess like all peperomias are but again i also used two of the different methods i took the petiole and tried to get that actually i did get that to root in water as well as taking a stem and rooting that in water as well and so this is one of the ones that i potted most recently you'll see a lot of browning um, on the leaves because there was some sort of pest on here i really didn't recognize or know what it was and so i decided to cut it up anyway and look at this it developed an entirely new plant just from this petiole and so the reason why i had browning on the leaves is because i did spray a soapy solution like a mixture of water soap and i think i put hydrogen peroxide in there which may have been a little bit too harsh for the leaf um, maybe i put too high of a concentration of soap i don't know what but that is what happened when i sprayed it on there it got rid of whatever it was that was on there um, but then it left these brown leaves, which is not a huge deal because some of the older leaves on all plants will tend to fall off and yellow and die naturally as it wants to reserve its energy in producing new leaves. And so this is not going to be a problem. Clearly, it's still developed roots and is still pushing out a new growth. And so I went ahead and potted this into um, a new pot along with these stems that um, I also 
got to root in water. So I kind of do both. So typically when you're taking clippings from your plants, you're gonna have that stem and then you're gonna be getting rid of some of the leaves. And so rather than throwing the leaves away or the petioles, I just stick them in water as well and watch them develop roots. So in the beginning, um, I did just have one of these plants in that four inch pot. But if you can see in the little screen, I did divide them into three. One of them I took to my old work and tried to pawn it off to an old coworker. And you can see the difference in size, how small it is compared to the other ones. And that's because it was only growing under the fluorescent, you know, office light environment. And so peperomias are known to be low light, um, low light tolerant plants, but just be aware that low light doesn't necessarily mean that that's the condition that the plant is going to thrive in. And so if you really want it to grow and to flourish, you want to give it the adequate lighting that it needs. Almost all my peperomias are sitting on my east facing window. So they do get a lot of direct sunlight right now. It's in the middle of the summertime. And you can see here, I do have the plain um, green obtusifolia and it's just gone nuts there's so many branches that i do need to clip it's just kind of getting out of control i'm trying to refrain from um propagating any more plants because i just i'm addicted to propagating and i just do not have the room to house any more plants i feel like i'm the last person in this world socially distancing and so i'm not able to you know, socialize and give away some of my plants. I'm taking the social distancing thing very seriously and I hope that you guys are too because watching all of these atro atrocious like parties and all these gatherings, it's just totally disgusting and it really is prolonging the uh, us getting over this whole thing. But anyway, that is for an entirely whole different video. You can see here, there's there was something wrong with this plant. It's had this like scalloping effect on this leaf, but these are pretty good plants and will get over any pests that it may um, have uh, pretty fast. And so this is my favorite type of plant, you guys. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I have, there's so many more peperomias that I don't have. There were some peperomias that I used to have before that died. Maybe I'll dedicate a different video uh, about those that died. Um, but anyway, these are the ones that have survived in the last few years. So I can attest to the um, sturdiness of these plants that, ha that have survived. So um, this is one of the plants that grew just from the petioles that I got to root in water. It is so amazing. I mean, I only had those. I only potted this maybe two, three months ago, maybe even less than that. And already it looks like a whole entire brand new, fully developed plant. So I'm just amazed by this plant. Um, again, I did start propagating this a lot sooner than I did in my, um, I did for my, the variegated version of this obtusifolia uh, plant. And so that's why I have so many more than the variegated version, but it's not going to take long until I do have a lot of those, um, the variegated version as well. So you can see this one that it does, it doesn't like stand upright. It doesn't stay uh, tall. It'll start to lean if it gets too heavy. So this is one that I'm probably gonna cut and of course I'm gonna propagate. It also likes to um, lean towards the direction of the sun. And so this these plants I do rotate every now and then, maybe like once every week and a half, maybe two weeks or so. And I know I mentioned that a lot of these plants do thrive um, in, you know, higher amounts of light but this plant in particular i actually had in between two windows so it's not like it was facing the sun or got any direct sunlight in fact i don't even know if there was any sun that reached the plant but it did continue to grow uh, and thrive even in that condition it, except that the leaves were a lot smaller than what they're growing into now so i mean i guess if you don't mind low smaller leaves and if you really need a plant in a corner where there's not a whole lot of light then i guess this is a good candidate um for that space of yours okay so next my peperomia or sorry pixie line pep bleh, pixie lime peperomia is probably if i had to i mean i love all of these peperomias but if i had to pick a favorite out of these bunch this bunch, it would have to be this one. Uh, and that's because not only does it grow super fast, 
I bought this in a two and is a two and a half inch pot initially and now it's exploded into all of these different pots but it's so interesting because it has this like fuzzy texture on top of its leaves but it's still robust it's not delicate like other leaves that have that kind of texture onto it and so this is the this and my I used to have a ripple leaf peperomia uh, that's one of the ones that died and also my parallel peperomia those are the only ones that I've got to uh, I've been able to get to bloom and I'll show you what the bloom looks like uh, here in a little bit but um, the obtuse folias have not yet bloomed for me but they do still have a similar flower so all peperomias have that um, like rat tail looking bloom uh, it's really interesting and it feels like kind of moist to the touch it's it's kind of weird <laughs> and it's not the most attractive bloom but it's uh, interesting nonetheless so anyway um, same care as my other ones or other pepper uh, the other peperomias that we've uh, seen in this video except that this is probably one that um, won't do as well in like direct sunlight and heat because as you can see some of the uh, leaves at the very bottom are getting yellow and I think it's from getting bleached from too much sun so I have pulled them away from the super sunny spots that they've been in so I've like placed them lower on shelves here's the rat tail blossom that I was talking about but anyway I would place them in a lower you know bottom shelf just so they get more filtered light um, from the whatever plants that are on the top shelf. So I'll show you in an upcoming houseplant tour video where I place these just so you can get a better um, picture of where they actually sit in my house and the type of lighting that they actually get. So here's my last, or no, sorry, second to the last peperomia that I have, which is the aluminum peperomia. This is a super fast grower, but it's also um, finicky in my opinion because I think what happens is the roots grow really fast and so then it gets root bound really quickly um, this is one that I freshly potted and so it's doing pretty well it's nice and springy it's got you know a lot of bounce in its leaves but what tends to happen with a lot of these plants is it starts to lose a lot of the green color like um, right here I've had this in this pot for quite some time um, I decided to I wanted to see what the roots looked like I knew what they look like when they develop in water they're really fine um, and there's a lot of them but I wanted to see and watch what it looked like as it grew in the soil and as you can see here there are a lot of really fine roots that I think get really crowded which then um, makes it I don't know what happens but like that's where I think that's what causes the leaves to lose some of its green color because it's not as green or as vibrant as it was when I initially potted it into soil and so I did do an I'm doing an experiment I recently repotted one into a bigger container and so we'll see if it continues to grow and maintain its green color um, unlike some of the plants that have been in their containers for um, a couple of months. So like this one, I don't know how I'm going to get it out. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get it out of this container. This used to be a glass or a, a candle that I repurposed into a um, plant holder. But anyway, this specific plant, you can see from what it originally looked like in the little screen. That's when I first potted it and it looked so much more lively than it does now. It, you can totally tell the difference between um, the coloring in its leaves and also its general appearance. It did grow a little bit tall. I also did take some cuttings from this plant, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but this is the plant that I recently repotted in a bigger container. I got these containers from Amazon. I thought that these sticker, the branding on the pot was just a sticker that I could peel off, but it's not. I got bamboozled, but that's okay. I'm probably going to have to um, <laughs> repot this soon anyway, but um, they were a pretty good buy. I think for 16 of these, I got it for... I forget. I totally forget. I'll try to link it below if I can remember. But anyway, we'll have to see how this one does. I'm keeping my fingers crossed because it is a really cute plant. Okay, so moving on to my last peperomia. I used to think that this was also an obtusifolia, but it's not. Please let me know in the comments below <laughs> what this peperomia is. I totally forget, but this is another one that I got in a two, two and a half inch pot. I repotted it in a four inch pot and now it's in this six inch or a six to eight inch 
planter, I probably a six inch planter, but it's grown quite a bit. I have not yet propagated this. The stems very much look like the obtusifolia, so I don't doubt that I can propagate it as easily as the other, um, as the obtusifolias. I just, I don't know. I don't want to cut this. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know why I'm so scared, but I'm, <laughs> I'm probably just going to go ahead and give it a try just because if anything happens to this plant, and you should do this really with most of your plants if you can, um, because if anything happens to them, then you at least have a cutting or another plant uh, that you can hang on to in case something happens to the other one. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what types of peperomias you guys have. Again, maybe I'll make another video to the peperomias that I used to have that didn't quite make it. But I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, guys, stay safe out there. Um, and until next time, <laughs> bye.